So here we are now driving it. And again, we drove it at this. Well, we, we had to drive it at more than 80 because we wanted to fly it on wheel power. Anyway, in, in, the, in the car mode, by the way, we did ballast it to the same weight you would have if you had the gas in the generator and the prop motor. We didn't even buy those for page one, but we put it at that weight. So that's the lightest you could ever drive it as a car. We did skid pad tests where you drive it real fast in a tight circle. And we did jog tests, and we drove it at high crosswinds, and we drove it as fast as, I wasn't even there for that one. Where was I? I was off on some kind of trip. But the fastest that we drove it to the end was how much? 75. 75 miles an hour, okay, as a car motor. Okay, and we found to our delight that we didn't even have to do a lot of tweaking on the elevator or the canard download or the flat. That seemed to work pretty good at what our first calculations were. So anyway, a lot of work here, and it was very important. This, to me, was the most important test because it told me a lot that I didn't know about. It. Okay, then, we weren't even planning on flying it on phase one because now we don't have propellers. Then I got the idea, wait a minute, we just taxied it with a wheel power fast enough and then fly it down the runway. Now, a big mistake, people, how many here have done runway flights on the first flight of an airplane? What's the big problem when you do that? You get off the ground and you forget the problem back. And you find out that you're 20 feet in the air and you're accelerating and you can't stop in time to land. That's a big problem. Well, this isn't going to be a problem because as soon as you leave the ground, you have zero trust. <laughs> that's kind of a cool picture. That's that's T Talk, the White Knight 2, and that's Mike Mike Melville, our astronauts, uh, Long Easy. And here we are with T Talk. And here we are airborne. But we, we took quite a few slides to show something that we already knew that was a good airplane. Okay, this is a nice day over the Rockies. <laughs> Going to Oshkosh? Try that. No, I don't have a name. And this is a nice day at the beach. By the way, I'm not trying to sell five cars. I don't have anything in it. And I don't have any idea at all whether Gail or anybody will proceed through and do the phase two testing. Uh, I know, according to their website, they say they are working on uh, the hybrid propulsive uh, technologies, and hopefully there will be some future work done on Python. Question. How much time are we doing? Oh, there, there, I see. We got 25 minutes. Oh, good. Question. Um, here, How many miles on a set of tires? <laughs> Uh, I don't know that. I, I really don't. Uh, we did not over-rate uh, the tires more than the load that they see at the motorcycle. You know what the motorcycle guys do? They actually fought. And they come down hard. Uh, we found we couldn't use their suspension because it wouldn't fit inside. So we used fairly clean. We did all new suspension. But we did use their adjustable tractor motors, which were really cool. You get a development model of those, uh, which costs three or four times if you can buy one off the shelf. But still, it only costs 250 bucks. <laughs> and you can adjust the damping in both directions. You can adjust the force at which it starts to shock. You can adjust all kinds of stuff. And so we bought development uh, uh, suspension for that. But, you know, we. Uh, we certainly did skid the tire. When the guys that take off and forget the throttle back while you're flying, you know when you have wheels spin up, it gives you drag and smoke. Well, this one gives you wheels spin up the other direction. As soon as you touch down, it pushes you forward and makes smoke. Uh, other questions? Yes. What's the proposed line when I can buy a kit? <laughs> I stopped selling plans in 1985. 26 years ago? 
No, I'm not in the business at all. Don't plan to be in the business. That, that, you know, I'll tell you, you get this old and you just flat can't do builder support anymore. It's just, it's just, you know, we did builder support for more than 20 years after we stopped selling plans. I, I, just, I just don't think I can do a kit. A kit. I, I don't think I have the to do a kit because it's a hell of a lot of work to support the builders and so on. So I have no plan to do anything uh, to kit. Um, I had a question about the, uh, the, the motors you're using. Uh, did you develop the uh, motors and motor controllers in house, or are you using something that's commercially available? And if so, can you say what that is? I can't say an answer to either of those questions because I, I, I would have to get permission to talk about any specifics on an electric propulsion. Sorry. <laughs> yep. The pods appear to have tow in. Why? The pods have tow in. First of all, you want to use up all of that eight feet that's allowable, okay? And if you take the tails, which are only that wide, instead of this wide, and you throw it out like that, you get a bigger stabilizer, more elevator, and more stabilizer to blow, and it gives you a lot bigger propellers to blow them. And the bigger propellers, the more efficient they're going to be, particularly at low speeds. So I wanted to get all the tail that I could have. Was <laughs> 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 Captain John Edwards at the airport that flew his flying wing in his last words? He did more tail. <laughs> but anyway, yes, the idea was to get all the tail he could have. Okay. Now we took the vertical fins and we put a crooked on the fuselage so they still point straight in the free. And remember, always burn ten, never one. There's only one guy in here that knows that. What about all the highway and okay. what about all the highway and safety emission laws? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> next question. 